Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about the first six things to do after starting your car. In this video, I'll be going over six specific things that you should be doing after you've started your car and before you start driving. Now, these aren't in any specific order, but I do recommend that you do all six of them. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number one, check the positioning of your mirrors. Now you see, your mirrors serve a very important role when you drive. They allow you to see around your car and behind your car. And if they are in the wrong position, they're not gonna allow you to see all of those areas in an ideal manner. You wanna have the best view of those areas of your car, and that requires your mirrors to be in the correct position. Now, if you're the only one that drives your car, this will only take a matter of moments because you just wanna make sure that your mirrors are where you left them. It's very simple. You're to check your mirrors make sure that they are still in the right position as when you left them and then you can go ahead and move on to the other ones that I'm gonna outline in this video the other things but if you share your car with someone else or if other people drive your car from time to time then you might have to actually adjust the mirrors to the correct position because those drivers will have likely adjusted the mirrors to the position that makes sense for them so take your time adjust the mirrors properly and make sure that they allow you to see exactly what you want to see and what you need to see number two check the positioning of your seat and your steering wheel now the positioning of your seat and your steering wheel is just as important as the positioning of your mirrors because the positioning of your seat and wheel allow you to be a safe driver for your steering wheel you want to make sure that it's in a position that allows you to see everything that you need to see and also you want to be able to grip it and maneuver it and steer it nice and easily and comfortably for your seat you want to make sure that it's in a position that allows you to have good posture grip your steering wheel properly and make sure that you can push the pedals down as much as you need to push them down number three put your seatbelt on the act of putting your seatbelt on only takes a few seconds and doing it greatly increases the chances of you being safe while you drive so with that being said some people come up with some downsides for wearing a seatbelt they come up with excuses for not wearing a seatbelt i should say not wearing seatbelt but not wearing a seatbelt they come up with excuses or downsides now with that being said the upsides of wearing a seatbelt far outweigh any potential downsides that you can come up with with that being said take a second or two seconds or however long it takes to put that seatbelt on so that you can greatly increase the chances of you being safe while you drive. Number four, check the dashboard for potential warning lights. Now, many people start their car, they don't look at the dashboard and they start driving. The dashboard is your hub for lighting in the car and it will show you any potential warnings for driving the car. Now, some warning lights are okay to drive with because they're gonna be minor warning lights and no big deal, you can drive with them for the most part. You can make the decision to drive with them on. Other warning lights, on the other hand, are crucial and you shouldn't be driving when those warning lights are illuminated. So take a quick look at the dashboard. Is there any light on the dashboard that shouldn't be on? Is there anything that's alarming? Is there anything that causes you to feel like you shouldn't drive your car? If you see a warning light on the dashboard, that causes you to think that you shouldn't drive your car then don't drive your car or do some further research or talk to a professional but check your dashboard for warning lights before you actually start driving after you've started your car number five look around your car what you want to do is use your mirrors and use your vision to just take a quick look around your car you want to note any traffic, any pedestrians, any objects, any obstructions, anything that you should be aware of before you actually start driving. Because it's better that you know about that thing or that person or whatever it is before you start driving than you actually start driving and then all of a sudden it's a surprise for you. By knowing about it before you actually start driving, you have enough time to react in advance, to act instead of just react, okay? Number six, put safety at the front of your mind. Once you've started your car, 
The vehicle is now in operation mode and you're ready to drive that that vehicle. Now, when you drive that vehicle, okay, you're gonna be operating it at high rates of speed and the vehicle probably weighs several thousand pounds. So with that being said, you need to put safety at the front of your mind. So just think, safety is my priority before you actually start driving. It takes just a few moments to do and it will totally change the way that you drive. Now that's basically it for the six things to do after you've started your car. But with that being said, here's a little bonus piece of advice. Before you actually get into the car and start it, I recommend that you do a circle check, which is just walk around the car, look all around the car itself, and then look at the areas surrounding the car. With that being said, it's a quick and easy thing to do and it will allow you to be safer as you drive and increase the level of safety from the moment that you actually get into the car. With that being said, that's it for the first six things to do after starting your car. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below to let me know what you think. If there's anything else that I missed, if you can th think of anything else that you should do after you've started your car, let me know down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.